What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I have been asked quite a few times to share my makeup round time. So, 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 so. So today I'm gonna be taking you through my full makeup routine, which actually duels as like my gym makeup routine as well. Now I don't have two separate routines, it's all one big thing. So I thought that it would be great, you know, to give you guys a glimpse into what the frig I put on my face. There's actually a product or two in this routine that really helps me to like not get acne at the gym. I work out in it and I do pretty well in that department, especially because I have acne prone skin and with the whole mask and shiz going on. So I think this could help a few of you out there, give you guys some ideas if you do go to the gym with makeup on, which by the way, no shame in that game. Own it, own it. If you feel confident doing it, do it. I know I do. But before we get into this video, definitely hit that subscribe button, follow your girl on IG for all things fitness, because together we got this. Okay. Well, let's do it then, shall we? Real quick guys, I'd like to take a minute to thank today's sponsor, Just CBD. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would see I pretty much rave about them in my stories. I've been using them for well over a year now, so if you're looking for premium CBD products, definitely check them out. I'll have the link down below. You can use my code Ashley to save you a freaking hot 20%. It's pretty good. Are you guys ready? Don't judge. <laughs> Everybody. Everybody better be using sunscreen. And if you don't, girl, if you think, well, I don't need to because I'm too young, you are wrong. You better not get that twisted. My favorite sunscreen to date is from Tula. Protect and Glow Baby Daily Sunscreen Gel Broad SPF 30. This goes on so beautifully. It gives a nice glow. I get a lot of compliments of like, why does your skin look so glowy? How do you do it? It's the freaking sunscreen. Okay, this is what I use as my base. <sighs> this has probiotics and super foods in it, so it's super nourishing for your skin. And look at it, ready? Oh, oh yes, just gently pat it around like this. <gasps> Under the eyeballs, not in it, but around. And I'm good. So the only thing I have on under this sunscreen is just moisturizer, but again, I'll get into the skincare at another date. Now that I got my glow going, girl, we glowing up here. What I use on my face is not a foundation because I have the worst experiences with foundations and I've used so many and I'm never ever happy or satisfied. So as of lately, I've been loving the Maybelline Dream BB Pure. I've been using this for almost two years now and I actually get it in the color medium deep sheer tint because it actually matches my tan. Because I use a fake tanner, I need to match somehow. Okay, I gotta keep it coordinated a little bit and not look like a ghost on my face. This has salicylic acid in it, salicylic, whatever. It's got that in it, which is really good for acne. So this is why I like to use this. It really helps me just kind of have an overall healthy glow and it doesn't actually like clog my pores and just make me look crazy. So just a little bit goes a long way. I start at the cheeks. All right, ooh, look at that difference. All of a sudden, I got a tanned face. Yes, please. I, uh, yeah, I do use my fingers. It's BB cream for carnal, I don't care. Okay, so now I look alive. Yay. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I like to do is put on my concealer. I got naturally like darkness around my eyes, so I need to brighten them shizzes up so I don't look like death. Um, I actually use two shades of Tarte Shape Tape because I have yet to find my true shade. <laughs> so I like bought two because I didn't know which one would be better for me and now I mix them because I'm that chick. I just overly complicate things. So I'm using medium 35N and light neutral 22N and what I like to do is just like blob a little bit of both, okay? This is the lighter one. Ooh. And then this is the darker one. This one matches the BB cream a little bit better. So this is what I'll use to cover up little acne spots or something like that. Like little, uh, little, uh, that up there, whatever you are. And then I highlight my nose a little bit. Okay, just a little bit, nothing crazy, all right? We're going a little bit light. Okay, so 
So now that we got our base down, okay, covered up all those imperfections, even though you perfect the way you are, girl. Okay, you ain't gotta change your head, buddy. Now we gotta fill up these brows because like when I was younger, my grandma and her friends told me never to touch my perfect brows and then I went ahead and plucked them and now they're forever So now I gotta fill them in. Um, this is my life now. Always listen to grandma and her friends. And um, the one I'm using is from Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. This is when I literally gotta grab and go and just get on with my day and I don't have time to fuss with little brow hairs. This is just like the draw on, get it over with, ain't nobody got time for that. Look, honestly, I can't really see what I'm doing. <laughs> this this mirror is like 10 feet away. Bay's holding it up, propping it as we speak. Okay. So for all I know, it's all smudged up. So forgive me, I'm not a professional. I uh, don't have my life together like that. Not even a little bit. What is happening? I see some weird stuff going on. What is this? This is in their shade five. And I think that it matches pretty nice with my roots. I think. That's good enough. Okay guys, so I'm trying to like get at that gym looking like mad natural. Like Urban Decay's Naked Heat palette. It's their little baby to go palette. I always buy things like in the petite form. I like the heat palette because it's like, I'm about to go crank some heat at the gym. I'm, I'm gonna like get spicy and heat it up. So I wanna look like I already got that going on my face. The shade that I love is actually called Heist. All right, so I just dab a little bit because it's very pigmented. And just go a little bit. I'm just brushing a little bit, okay? I'm just, oh God, I can't see what I'm doing. Peekaboo. Okay, so it's super natural, okay? Kind of nude color going on. I want people to look and be like not sure if I'm actually wearing makeup or not. That's the trick. Nah, you could definitely tell it's eyeshadow. All right guys, so um, this is my least favorite part of the entire freaking routine and it's doing the cat eye, the little baby. I only do a little cat eye at the gym. I love Epic Ink Liner from NYX. Okay, you got that little baby felt tip, little dagger. And I'm gonna mess this up because that's how it is when I'm being watched. So um, I just kind of like, I can't see. <laughs> I can't see at all. The trick is keeping the eyelid mad relaxed. <laughs> okay, so just like that, my eyeball's woken up. We are topping off those lashes with Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express. It's my favorite drugstore makeup. I love Maybelline. Oh yes, I do. I'm obsessed with this mascara because when I'm working out, it doesn't touch the top of my lids and like, you know, cause that black eye. It doesn't smear, it doesn't get anywhere like a lot of other ones do. This, if it touches my like eyelid like this, see that? Nothing. So yeah, even when it's like wet or when you're at the gym and you're like starting to sweat on your eyebrows, this, I know I look freaking weird doing this. It just doesn't get up there. So this is why I love this. It's so freaking inexpensive. Half the shit you get at like expensive stores gets all over my face. So this is a winner. All right guys, so I add on a little bit of a cream blush. Freaking Whitney Simmons. She was sharing this on her makeup routine. She uses this little tart like cream bronzer in the color Breezy. I got the little baby travel one. I always do that with makeup that I'm not sure if I'm gonna like. So I get it in the little travel version and see if I like it first and I love it. So I'll be getting the big one next. A little bit of this. Why did I do that? It's cream. It's not powder. So what are you doing, Ash? <laughs> A little bit of this just to make it look like I got cheekbones. Okay, because sometimes my face just looks like one big thing. You know what I mean? And there's no differentiation. I don't really have pronounced cheekbones at all. So I gotta, you know, do what I got. I actually added a little bit up here. A little contour, never hurt nobody. 
come on girl you gotta look like you got a little bronzeru going like you just got back from hawaii okay i love that she introduced me to this cream bronzer because i have extremely dry skin usually and i was using a lot of powders and i was always wondering like why it looked like flaky on my face and now that i went to everything being just cream based it changed my freaking life okay so we're almost done last but not least we gotta do something with these fried up lips <laughs> oh my lips i hate my lips should i get lip injections i'm thinking about it <laughs> i'm the kind of girl who needs to kind of put a little bit of something on the lips just to make them look like they're not shriveled up so i like to add in a little bit of lip pencil this is from Beautique in the color natural i love this it was so inexpensive some lip liners are so expensive and there's virtually like nothing to it i i use it a couple times and it's already out this lasts me forever i love this color because it's the most natural looking it's in the color natural on my lips so i need something that kind of is barely there. You go ever so slightly over the lip line, ever so slightly, okay? Like half on the lip line and half above it is the perfect recipe for naturally plumper looking lips. And just like that, like, dang! When I learned this trick, it, it just made me feel like a new woman. Okay, so lastly, I like to top it off with chapstick only, no lipstick. Yeah, just keep it super natural. Sometimes I'll just do a clear chapstick, balm, whatever. But uh, sometimes when I wanna add a little something something to my lips, give it a little bit of color, a little juice, if you will, a little juice. Then um, I love the Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm in Rose. It's 100% natural and it's like that ever so slight like reddish. So it almost makes you look like the blood's rushing to your lips. Like you're getting a really good workout in and you're just like, oh. it's like sultry without going over the top. Okay, oh, see, I only dabbed on a few little patches and now it's like, ooh, juice. That is in a nutshell, my makeup routine. With wearing makeup to the gym though, I do have a pretty extensive skincare routine. So again, if you want to see that, I will definitely, definitely take you on that journey. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get on with my day. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in my next video.